I grew up in the small town of Lawrence, which is north of Boston. I have a wonderful mother, a wonderful dad, and three beautiful sisters. A saying throughout my whole family is, be better. I knew since I was little, everybody wanted what's best for me and knew that college was best for me, and I knew no matter what, I had to get a better education for myself. None of us really went through the college process. We really didn't have anybody to really talk to about that. Throughout my high school career, Maureen Santiago, she was like a second mother to me. She always was helping me with not only my academics, but my personal life as well. If it weren't for her, I don't know where I would have been. The way Juan Gol and myself helped Chris and his family and other members of Lawrence High School, when the parents don't understand the process, they don't understand financial aid, we are a person that they can come to. For Chris, going into Salem State was challenging. I've always been home around my family 24 seven, and now I can't really do that. Since I'm the oldest, I have to be that role model for them. He needed to learn independence. How do I have my freedom, but also rein back and do my academics? I thought I was doing okay because I used my previous high school process, just get by and just do it. But at the beginning of the semester of my freshman year, I wasn't doing so well. When, <laughs> when I saw my grades, they weren't as I expected. Marie told me to go to see an academic advisor. He made the appointment to meet with the counselor as I was on the phone. Yeah, it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to make mistakes, but what do you do now? He got the help he needed, and he passed all his classes first semester. Because of Marina One Goal, quitting is just not an option for me. When I graduate college, that's going to be the day that I know I did better. It's going to be the first stepping stone for me to be having a better life. This is what One Goal is all about, junior, senior, and freshman year in college. You always want them to be better, and if you can help them, you don't stop the phone calls, the weekly check-ins. Just because it technically on paper is done, it will never be done. <laughs>